Hey guys, so today I'm going to tell you how US became one of the most powerful economy in the world. So yeah, let's see. So in short, here are three main points. First, in the 90s, US dollar was pegged with gold, uh, which afterwards got removed. Then second, the Arab countries sell their oil in just US dollar. Uh, we will discuss it why. And then third is the SWIFT. Uh, basically, it does the transaction of money between two different countries. So yeah, let's look at them one by one. Okay, so when World War 1 and 2 happened, US was the last country that entered the war. And in that time, US used to export a lot of commodities like rubber and cotton, by which other countries started getting poor and poor, obviously because of war. And on the other side, US became richer and richer by exporting different goods. And also in the 90s, US was having around 75% of total gold present in the world. And then US said that for every dollar, we are going to keep some amount of gold in our treasury. So yeah, ultimately other countries started trusting the dollar and then they started doing business in the dollars. Uh, but after some times, the government of US removed this thing. And as now US dollar is not pegged to the gold, that means US can print as much money as they want. So now, whenever US will need the money, they'll just go and turn on the printing press. But wait, it doesn't stop so here. Uh, now here comes the second thing and that is selling oil for dollars only. Yeah, you heard it right. But uh, why Arabs are selling their oil for dollars only? Uh, so it's because the US has a lot of good technology to extract the oil uh, in that times, means uh, in 90s. And then US and Arab countries had a contract that Arabs will only sell oil for the dollars. By which other countries started storing their wealth in the form of dollars. Uh, because see, if they want oil, then they have to give dollars to get oil. So yeah, ultimately again, US dollar became one of the strongest currency in the world. But wait, it doesn't finish over here. And here comes our third and the last thing and that is SWIFT. Also called as Society of Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunications. So let's understand it with an example. So let's say there is an Indian guy who wants to send money to Sri Lankan guy. So first he'll send money to the bank and then that bank will send money to another bank which will convert Indian rupee into dollar. And then he'll transfer that money to Sri Lankan bank in form of dollar, which will convert dollars into Sri Lankan rupee. And then that Sri Lankan bank will transfer money to local bank. And then that Sri Lankan guy will get the money. So yeah, this whole thing is called as SWIFT. So yeah, guys, I hope you understood why US economy is strongest till now. So see you in the next one. Bye bye.